Hello, and welcome to this year's 2019, can you believe that, 2019, uh, version of the Signing and Interpreting for the Deaf video training series. I've been doing this a long time, and while this is also a welcome for this video, this is also me telling you this is the last year I'm going to be doing it. I can't remember which year it was that I started doing this, but it has been, I believe, close to 20 years, if not more than 20 years, that I've been doing this signing program for LTC. And it's time to pass the torch to somebody else. Somebody with a little more vigor, a little more energy, and whose shoulders are not quite as stiff as mine are anymore, okay? And I have loved being part of LTC. It has been the brightest part of my year every year. And I'm hoping that uh, we can find someone who will fill my shoes and take on the uh, program with the same type of zeal and the same type of love for the kids and for the signing and for, uh, and just move the pro program along. Uh, I'm just hoping that God will bless us with somebody who will take over the reins as, uh, like I said, uh, this is my last time to be doing this. So it's a little bit of a, uh, an emotional experience for me today. That said, and that past, now this is going to be a great year. I've chosen, I think, three wonderful songs. The Battle Belongs to the Lord. It's a lot of fun. And uh, um, on Zion's Glorious Mount, one that's an old hymn that many of us have grown up with, and Be Unto Your Name, another beautiful song. All of these songs are just wonderful songs to sign. And I have a scripture that uh, I think will be uh, a, both a challenge and it's a good scripture. And I think that they will do well. If this is your first time to be doing LTC with me, um, I want you to know that these videos are not a golden standard and that if you're watching these videos, they're meant to be a guide. And they, they were born out of a need for multiple congregations not having anybody who knew signs. And it was my only way I knew to be able to grow the program and, and move it into congregations and let kids who didn't have an interpreter or someone who knew signs in their congregation still participate in the program. And it's been very successful. But it's important to know that if you know signs that are different than are on these videos, that's not gonna count against you. The judges have not been shown these videos and they're not grading against them, okay? Uh, you just need to do it the way you know how to do it. So if your instructor is teaching you how to do something differently than what you see on the video, do what your instructor tells you, okay? That's important. Left-handed and right-handed kids. If you're a right-handed kid, these videos were made by a right-handed guy and they work for you. If you're left-handed, you have a little bit of a challenge. Challenge comes in multiple different ways. One is, you're ambidextrous. You may be left-handed, but you live in a right-handed world and your right hand and your left hand, they work together. You use both hands. And when you're signing, you can't do that. In signing, you're gonna to have to choose which hand is gonna be dominant. I've had kids who were left-handed who signed everything right-handed and did perfect. I've had right-handed kids, believe it or not, do everything set left-handed and do everything perfect. It's okay, it's just as so long as you're consistent. And what I mean by consistent is, hello, my name is Paul Clements. I did it all right-handed. If you're left-handed, hello, my name is Paul Clements. Okay, it's which hand you use. It cannot be, hello, my name is Paul Clements. You know, all this back and forth stuff, you can't do that. And when you're doing your signs, one hand is gonna to have to be dominant. The other is gonna set a stage. So sunrise, 
left hand is by being still. So if you're trying to remember which hand should be doing something, especially you left-handers be listening to me, if you don't know which hand to use, think about which one is moving the most, and that's the hand you to use. And if it helps, what I've done with my kids who are left-handed who have trouble with this, is I make them put their their left, their right hand behind their back and hold onto a belt loop and sign everything one-handed because 95% of every sign is all done with one hand. Anyway, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you. I don't think so. I am very much looking forward to this LTC. Looking forward to seeing everybody there. God bless you all. And if there's anything I can do to help the program move along, if you are interested in being part of the program and helping carry the program forward, please reach out to me. I'd love to hear you. God bless you all.